guys welcome back to my channel my name is Pidumi um, if it's your first time tuning into my channel tuning onto my channel whatever word thank you so much please do subscribe it is very helpful for the YouTube algorithm algorithm and um, it helps me it encourages me okay I love that please do subscribe and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share the video okay thank you so much as you do that um, thank you to all the new subscribers as well so it's another Saturday and um, even I'm just waking up I want to sew I really want to sew. I want to sew something very easy, something I can just put on quickly. Um, I want to make a shift dress. So, yeah, a shift dress is what I will call it. But I want to add patch pockets on it. Uh, I think that would be really fun, you know, and just spice the shift, a regular shift dress up a little bit. So, yeah, happy Saturday and happy whatever day you're watching this video. I am tired, but we move on. There's something in my head and I want to make it. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it as well. So, um, keep on watching this video to learn how to make the shift dress I'm about to make. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Okay, I'm gonna need a um, ruler and a curved ruler for the armholes. Okay, then the materials I need or the materials I'm gonna use are my measuring tape, thread, scissors, um, we have my pins. I'm gonna use pins, you know, here right now. And I'm going to, the main fabric will be this neutral ankara print like it's very neutral so i can add like bright color pockets on it so for the pockets i'm gonna use these materials kind of like similar colors arranging them and then i'm also gonna add um sequin to it i have just two sequins material I'm gonna cut up as pockets okay i'm gonna cut the fabric now so i have this scrap fabric that's literally like this so I'm going to use it as a template to cut out the remaining ones. It's uh, 12 inches wide and um, like 8 inches long. So I'm just going to use that same measurement to cut out all the pockets. We're going to have four patch pockets. These are my pockets. I think I'm gonna attach this first because I'm so excited about them. So the first thing I'm going to do is to finish up the edges of the pocket with a zigzag stitch. I'm not gonna do that to the sequin fabric just for the woven fabrics. It's gonna zigzag around it. <laughs> so I have cleaned up the row edges with a zigzag stitch. Yeah. Now I'm just going to iron the seam allowance, which is about a quarter of an inch, not a lot. I'm just going to fold it in and press it. I proceeded to iron all the edges and then pin it on the fabric. I just played around with it. I think I measured like five inches. Maybe it's five inches apart. That's 2.5 inches from the center point. And then I placed this one four inches below. And same with the part. Yeah. And I just thought that the bottom pockets were too small. So I added I added a bit more material to the side so it's it's wider than it was before and I think it looks okay so what I'm gonna do now is to proceed to sew it down on the three sides both sides and at the bottom just sew with a straight stitch So I have cut up my fabric using my widest um, body measurement which is my hip and it's 40 inches so I made this um, like 45 for extra seam allowance or 47 
okay i have folded my fabric into quarters i have a folded edge and i have um, two unfolded edges i'm going to work on the side with two folded edges it's also going to be our shoulder line okay the first measurement is the bust point measurement which is from your shoulder to the bust point of the nipple if you want to know how to take your measurements i have a video on my channel um, explaining how to take all your body measurements so learn how to take your body measurement and use it to make your dress so mine is 11 inches marking my bust point measurement here showing that um, the next measurement is the waist which is 17 inches And then the next is the hip, which is eight, sorry, nine. <laughs> and the length of my dress, I want it to be 38 inches plus um, an inch for hemming. That's 39. I'm going to measure 39 here. 39. It's like 10 from here. All right, hole, which is um, eight, eight inches. Okay, now let's do the shoulders. You can measure three inches here for the neck hole and five for the shoulders. Okay, now I'm gonna drop the shoulder point by half an inch half an inch there we go mark eight inches here on the armhole line eight and join it across to the shoulder point and i'm just gonna also draw the shoulder line so shoulder line next measurement is the um bust circumference divided by four because it's a free dress let's see how many inches do i want for ease like two inches for ease and then i need two inches for um hemming oh no one inch for for seam allowance 11.5 i feel like doing 12 let's just let's do 12. i'm gonna back that on my chest line yes that's 12 and then the waist will be the same thing let's do that let's do 10. and the hip same thing got my measurements and now whatever i marked on my um hip i'm going to add two inches to that so that's going to be 16. Yeah all right now i'm gonna just join all the points together now let's move over to the neckline uh, i want a v neckline for the front so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make my neckline four inches wide six Six should be fine. Six. I'm just gonna join that to the shoulders. Awesome. And then for the back, I'm gonna just bring it down by eight. Sorry, not by eight, by one inch, and just draw the back neck curve. Next up is the the armhole. Um, I'm just gonna draw armhole curve the bust point and that's it I'm just gonna find the midpoint of my armhole and um, take it in by quarter of an inch and we just do the whole you guys know okay now that I'm thinking about it I think I should just make it different so this is my front and then this will be my Oh, and that's it. It's very simple. Now it's just time to cut it out. So 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place the neckline on the scrap piece of fabric or leftover fabric and trace around it. Let's see how much is here. Two inches from the neckline. I'm just gonna trace it. I'm gonna leave half an inch to join. So this is my front facing. Gonna cut, cut, cut. Now I also need to cut the back facing. It's just basically the same step as well. Um, okay, uh, place it on my fabric, folded edge together. And then I'll just trace the neckline. And remember, I made it two inches for the front, and we can make it two inches for the back as well. And just trace it. This is how you sew it on patterns. <laughs> it's easy. Okay, and then I take my curved ruler and just curve this part. Here is my back facing. And then I'll cut it off. Oh, that's it. My back facing. It's gonna give it a neat finishing. Okay, it's time to cut the sleeves. I have folded, I have two fabrics here which I folded to the wrong side. And also folded again over. So for the cap height, it's going to be my bust circumference divided by 12 plus 1 inch, which I have um, as 4.1. I'm just going to make it 4. Let's make it 4 inches. Okay. Um, next is the height of the sleeve. How long do you want the sleeve to be? I want mine to be about 7 inches. Well, plus half plus one inch for hemming that's eight think of this video i'm going to try and make it as detailed as possible so so the next thing to do is mark the armhole measurement here which was eight inches but then because we also added a few extra allowances to it i'm going to make it we added like two inches extra so i'm going to make it 10 inches here And then just mark the actual eight here. Bicep circumference is 12 plus two inches for seam allowance and ease. That's 14 divided by two. That's seven. Okay. Okay. And then just draw this in sort of like a not so straight but curved line here. So this is this is it. I'm going to join this eight inches point to the top of the sleeve and then find the middle of this line mine is nine so my new point is 4.5 oopsie 4.5 and i'm going to raise that line up by half an inch and next thing to do is connect this point to the end of the line Okay, and then I'll take my curve and just create the head of the sleeve. There we go. So this is gonna be for the back, right? This will be for the back. And then for the front, I'm gonna just take my curve ruler again from the top of the sleeve. Curve it downwards. Okay, sometimes it's a bit of assistance. <laughs> yep, so this is for the front. And now we'll cut. We'll cut it. Anyways, the next step now is joining the front of the dress, the back of the dress. The first thing to do is join the front facing like this, straight stitch, 
and then once that is done place it on the front piece right and sew with a straight stitch and then for the back I place place it right sides together and sew around the back curve so around the back curve and then when I'm done doing all that I place the front and the back together and join by the shoulders <gasps> easy peasy okay let's go do that <laughs> so I'm done attaching my front face into the front um, piece so to make sure that the V turns properly I'm going to um, make some notches right at the V and around it so it turns properly careful not to cut into your seam Yep. Okay, before I press the back facing, I'm going to make some notches so it turns over properly and then turn and press. Turn it over and press it. There we go. I have pressed the seams open as well. And now it's time to attach my sleeves. Middle. So place it right sides together, find the center and pin, and we're just going to pin around. So sew with a straight stitch around. Okay people, so I am done attaching both of my sleeves and I finished it up as usual with a zigzag stitch because I don't want any fraying inside my clothes after one wash. And um, now it's time to first of all hem the sleeve before joining the sides together. I'm going to fold over just once, like so, and then sew the straight stitch. Okay, the second to the final step before hemming, the final step is hemming the dress, is to join the sides. So just um, get a pin, pin the sleeve pin along the sides that's it just sew with a straight stitch along the sides and then when you're done yeah the usual fold over and hem and we're done with the dress can't wait to wear it up i hope you guys enjoyed this video you found it inspiring and you're gonna make something similar for yourselves as well so join me next week or in my next video for another exciting DIY please don't forget to like share subscribe